We don't need no education stocks. Apollo Group getting crushed on Wednesday morning. This is the company that operates the University of Phoenix. The reason the stock is down, they reported earnings on Tuesday. You see, it wasn't all about Alcoa after all, the start of earnings season. But Apollo saying that enrollment was down, and that's obviously a huge problem for a company whose primary business is running a college. Why is Apollo struggling right now? The big issue for Apollo and many other for-profit education companies like DeVry, ITT Educational Services, Strayer, is that you have tougher scrutiny from the federal government, the Department of Education, because many of these companies were billing themselves as good places to go during the recession for people to kind of boost their job credentials. You can go back to school, get more education, more career training, come out in a tough economy and wind up with a degree and a much better chance of getting a good job. That hasn't happened for a lot of students. And what has happened is that many of these students are still struggling to find work and they also have a lot of debt now. And that is something that many people have come to realize is obviously a bad thing for the business models of these for-profit education companies. So Apollo, which was the worst performing stock in the S&P 500 in 2012, down more than 60%, off to an awful start in 2013 as well. You really do have to wonder just what the future of many of these for-profit education stocks will be. It is not looking very promising right now, and that is probably a reason why they're all wearing the dunce cap on Wall Street.